I've been tagged by the Button Bashers, and now I need to tell you guys what game needs a remake and what game needs to continue on the next generation consoles. Coming up on the Big Retro Show. Hey, what is up you guys? This is Los from the Big Retro Show and I got tagged by my friends, the Bun Bashers, to do this video on a game that needs a remake and a game that needs to continue. And so at the end of this video, I'm gonna be tagging three other channels to do response videos to this video. So let's get right into it. So for the first part of the video, I'm gonna be talking about a game that sorely, sorely needs to be remade for the next generation consoles. And that game is the Strike series. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, Desert Strike, Jungle Strike, Urban Strike, Nuclear Strike, and Soviet Strike. I remember playing these games on the Genesis and the Super Nintendo, and they were a lot of fun. So it wasn't all just flying around in a helicopter, blowing the shit out of everything you saw. There was some strategy involved because your helicopter had to have the three essential elements, which was fuel, ammo, and armor. And without these things, you wouldn't be lasting long in the desert or in the jungle or wherever the hell that you were flying. But this game had all of those strategic elements in it. So the stories for the Strike games were something special. They used these actors, they were probably just EA employees or friends of EA employees to play the bad guys. And there was one guy who would play like the Saddam Hussein character. And there was another guy who would play kind of like the drug dealer character. And they had these like dialogues that was funny to look at and funny to, to experience. And it added a lot of fun to the game. It added to the production value of the game. So the graphics for these games were awesome. They really showcased the power of the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo. And the graphics just, just made it a lot more fun to play these games. Now the last time we heard about the Strike series was with Nuclear Strike on the PS1. There was supposed to be a sequel called Future Strike. I bet you guys didn't know that. But for some reason the big wigs at EA decided not to name that as the official sequel to the Strike series and instead named it Future Cop, LAPD. It's still a very fun game and you can totally see the Strike influence on that game. As a matter of fact, a fan-made game came out recently. Well, not recently, but it did come out uh, a few years ago or something like that. It's called Alligator Strike. And that game is a lot of fun too. They used updated graphics and updated sprites and gameplay and stuff. Um, to kind of remake Desert Strike. But now I want to see a Strike game come on the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. I don't care who makes it. You know, if EA wants to farm it out to a group of uh, fun-loving indie developers who love the game as much as I do and have the know-how to make a game, then so be it. I would love to support a game like that. Show, show me the Kickstarter. Show me the Kickstarter. That's what I want to know. And yeah, I hope that someday a game for the Strike series is made. So the second part of this response video is going to be a game series that needs to continue. This game isn't necessarily part of a game series, but there needs to be a sequel to it. And that is Days Gone for the PS4. So Days Gone is a super fun game for the PS4. It is a console exclusive. You take the role on of a biker who's trying to desperately find his fiance that he got separated with at the beginning of the zombie apocalypse. Alongside of you is your homie, your friend from the biker game that you were part of, and his name is Boozer. So together you guys try to navigate your way through this open world adventure, killing zombies, going on missions, riding your Harley, and finding weapons to beat the zombies with. And I have to say that my favorite weapon in this game is the crossbow. I love getting headshots with the crossbow. Um, this game isn't really anything innovative or anything like that, but it's just the way that the storytelling is done in this game. It's really awesome. The, the characters that are in this game are the same kind of characters you would kind of find like in a Walking Dead game or anything like that. And the other, game, the other aspect of this game that I enjoy a lot is the zombie horde mode where you take on a horde of zombies and you use all manner of ordinance against them. You can use bombs, you can use machine guns, shotguns, and you try to run away from them and try to kill every single one of them. I found that part of the game to be extremely satisfying. 
So now comes a part of the video where I get to tag three channels to do a response video to this video. So I tag Retro Wolf 88, the Retro Complex, and Beyond Useless Games. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and let me know in the comments what games you think needs to remake and what game you need on the next generation consoles. And until the next one, guys, I will see you on the Big Retro Show. Peace. Uh-huh.